Hi everybody, um, today's video is going to be another Lush review and the product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Aquamarina um, Facial Cleanser and it's the one that looks like a um, piece of sushi. I don't know if I can get it out. You can see that it looks like has seaweed on it. Anyway, so that's what it looks like and this product is a facial cleanser, which is really interesting. Um, a while back I did a Lush haul, and I have a sample of it. You can see that I still have some left. And this is not really something that I would have ever purchased on my own, um, partially because I was really happy with my current um, facial skincare routine, I guess. Um, however, I did get a sample and I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. Ended up really liking this stuff, like a lot. And I was, um, went to Lush today and got a big honking piece of it. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you what it contains, how to use it, and sort of what it did to me. And then I'm gonna give it like a rating. So on the um, Lush website, and yes, for those of you who asked last time, I do make notes for all of my videos. Um, yeah. It just helps me know what the hell I'm going to talk about whenever I turn this camera on. So anyway, the Welsh website says it is a soothing cleanser for even the most sensitive of skin. And I have very, very sensitive skin and also very dry skin. Um, and it's fantastic. But anyway, so the rest of the website says it may look like it was pulled from the ocean, but that's only because it's wrapped in seaweed. Nori seaweed to be specific, and it's packed with nutrients for a soft, healthy skin. We wrap it around the most common ingredients we could think of, including soothing calamine and aloe, making this one of our favorite cleansers for the most sensitive and dry skin. Excuse me. Take a pea-sized amount, mix it with warm water, and gently massage the milky mixture into your skin. A quick, a quick rinse and you'll be clean, soft, and soothed. So yeah, that's essentially how you use it. Basically what I do is I take, like, this is going to last me a friggin' lifetime. And I take, like, a little chunk, and I get, like, the little chunk in my hand, and then I get like a little bit of water in my other hand and just kind of like mix it together or I go like this to make a paste and then just rub it onto my skin. Um, the one thing that I have noticed though is that when you do get like a little bit of the seaweed, you want to make sure that you get the seaweed off um, while your face is wet because I've noticed that if I use it in the morning, I have forgotten that there's like little flecks of seaweed like in my hairline and stuff. So that can be a little bit, a little bit annoying. Um, another thing though is when you go to make a paste, it's a little hard sometimes to make um, a perfect paste because it doesn't dissolve that quickly. So what I like to do, or what I found easiest, is whenever you still have that little bit that doesn't really make into a mixture, just take that and rub it like into your skin and it should work fine. So um, that's kind of how I use it. And then in terms of what it contains, it contains three main ingredients, I guess. One is um, nori seaweed, calamine, and aloe. Now, nori seaweed is obviously like the green seaweed. I don't know if I imagine there's seaweed extract in the actual product. Um, and the actual seaweed has a lot of really, really good nutrients in it. Um, it has apparently like 20% more nutrients than any plant that's on the earth or something, I don't know. Um, it also softens skin and is a really good source of calcium, iron, and potassium, which is good because, you know, it doesn't definitely doesn't hurt your skin and it's really, really good for your skin, so that's awesome. Um, the other ingredient is calamine. Now, most people are familiar with calamine from calamine lotion. Um, I know that I have, especially me, um, because I'm pale and I'm anemic, that bugs like to bite me. So calamine lotion is that pinkish stuff that you put on your skin to like soothe um, irritation or itching. So calamine's in this, which is really, really good. Um, it also, like, like I said, it relieves redness, stinging, um, and irritation of the skin. And it also has the ability to calm the skin and tone as well. So that's another really good ingredient that's in this. Um, and then the other thing is aloe. So, I mean, aloe vera, people are familiar with that. It's good for calming the skin, soothing it, um, soothing like sunburns, redness, and stuff like that. So, 
Basically what this product is, I think is what it's attempting to do is one, not only be a cleanser, but also to reduce redness um, because all the ingredients have properties in them that are to reduce redness. So I'm gonna tell you kind of my experience with it. Um, when I first started out, it smells like, it doesn't smell offensive really. It kind of smells, um, I don't know. It kind of smells like a man's cologne in like a good way, but you can definitely smell the seaweed, which can be a little bit like fishy kind of smell. It's a little weird, but it definitely grows on me now. And like, I actually really like the scent. It's something, I don't know. It's kind of the same thing with Mac wipes. A lot of people hate the smell and I did too at first, but then you start using it and you come to really like it. So it's really interesting smell. And then, um, when I first used it, I noticed that whenever I was done taking, like done taking it off, that my skin looked really, really white. Like I'm really pale, but you know, I do have some redness in here. Um, and my skin was like really, really white, which is good because obviously it sort of proves that the, um, the ingredients in it is reducing redness, which is cool. Um, it also left my skin feeling a little bit tingly, a little nice and kind of tight, but not so tight that you're like, you know, um, that's, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people ask you like, is it good for sensitive skin? Is it good for dry skin? I have both and it's fantastic. I use this in the morning and at night. Um, I find though in the morning, this is kind of like my little trick, I guess, is I try to take a chunk that doesn't have the seaweed necessarily on it. That way, when I, um, use it in the morning, I don't have to worry about trying to get all the seaweed off. And then at night, I just don't care. I'll put whatever. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything. It's really, really good product. Like I'm super impressed. Like it takes a lot for me to like anything facial wise because I have sensitive dry, <laughs> you know, skin. So um, a lot of things break me out, but this has not broken me out. And I've used the sample now for like three weeks or so. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about to make sure to wash off the seaweed smell or the seaweed pieces, I mean. Um, it also didn't dry out my skin, which is fantastic because I know a lot of cleansers tend to have the ability to dry out your skin. And yeah, so I suggest definitely going and um, if anything, get a sample of it because I would have not have tried this had I not got a sample and it ends up being my, my favorite thing ever. So yeah. And when I went and got this chunk today, I also picked up the, well, I kind of got talked into trying a, um, a mask, which I've not tried yet. And I've never tried a mask from Lush. So we shall see. I'm very, very skeptical about putting anything on my face. So if it sucks, I will give you an honest review about it. Don't you worry. Um, and then this is called BB Seaweed. And it looks like this, which is super attractive, right? Um, <laughs> and this contains essentially a lot of the same stuff that this does. And my Lush Girl said that like, if you try them together, it should have like really nice results or I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll try it whenever I'm down for anything. Um, and it says, inspired by the sea, blah, 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 contains seaweed and seaweed absolute, um, antiseptic honey, cleansing, um, aloe vera, rose absolute, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm definitely going to try this and let you know. I just wanted to show you guys this because, um, the date does expire really quickly. These expire in about two to three weeks, depending on when you get it and you do have to keep them refrigerated. So yeah, um, this doesn't, the facial mask doesn't have to be refrigerated, but I found out on the Lush forums that it is suggested for longer shelf life to keep it refrigerated. So I keep them both in my fridge beside each other. So um, I'll definitely try this out and review this because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be interested in that. And yeah, so overall, um, I guess my reading system is kind of going like this now. Smell is like a seven. It kind of goes on me after a while and I kind of like it. But um, again, I think a lot of people are gonna be kind of, 
about the smell it's I'm one of those things where you're gonna have to smell it to see if you like it um, because you're putting it on your face as well um, overall cleansing properties fantastic absolutely fantastic makes my skin really nice really soft and reduces the redness that I have which is excellent and yeah so overall rating is definitely like a 9.8 I think 9.8 because the seaweed does stick on your face sometimes and that's the only downfall um yeah so hopefully you enjoy that and I will talk to you guys later until my next lush review oh also I just wanted to mention that this is the real color of my hair um my last video it looked pink and it's not it's really really red it's just sometimes my lighting washes stuff out depending on what my auto settings on my camera does so yeah it's very very red so if case you're wondering why it looks really red in pictures it is really red so um, yeah my camera's going to die in about two seconds so i will talk to you guys later and take care